Sam. It's the crack of dawn and we're flying to California today. We're flying with a special guest. To fly together. Are you excited? Last time we flew with her, she kind of freaked out. I mean, she was okay, but she had like 45 minutes where she was kind of having a panic attack and like panting. So we hope, we hope she does better. So we'll see. We'll document the, the attempt to travel with her. But we're waiting for our Uber right now and get ready to go. So let's kick off the Christmas California vlog. Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's early. It's early. Oh, it's early. You just send to your other grandma? Grandma and grandpa. California grandma. Oh, we're excited. Okay, so we are traveling with Suki, and so far it went well. We're through checking our bags, which they had to weigh her. She was a little over the pound. Um, threshold but they were fine with it and then we checked some of our other bags just so it was easier and then um, she sat in her carrier great she was just, like totally fine with it and then we walked her through the terminal and did security but they had a dog who was doing the sniffing like the canine sniffing um, for like drugs or I don't know substances or something and so they didn't want the dogs to interact and so the the dogs, they had us check in with her separately. So they basically like escorted us through separately and we kind of like cut the whole line, which was, it like ended up like really benefiting us. But we cut basically the whole line and then we just had to get personally checked since the dog couldn't check us and we had to split up. So I had to go do my normal thing, but I had TSA pre-check, so that was easy. And then Garrett was with Suki and they just like hand swabbed all the things to check for any substances or something. So, Anyway, it's gone well so far, so now we're at the gate. We're pretty early. And we're just hanging out. Oh, here comes Garrett. Okay. Here's your ticket. Yay! Suki's good to fly. Cool. Alright, D, E, and F. It was complicated, but we figured it out. It would be. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> good start. Oh, did you, um, can you get her some water? Yeah, uh, water and Starbucks, maybe water first. Yeah. We now want to book one customer in West American America and ask you to return ID to board flight 2019 to Tampa. Are you ready to fly? Suki, are you ready to fly? Do you want to fly? Do you want to take a flight? Do you want to? Well, good thing, that's what we're doing. We now welcome to group one to four, group one to four. I'm so happy to be here. It's Christmas week, so I'm super excited, but we, I'm actually working this week, so most of the celebrations or anything we're gonna do, it's gonna be after work, but I do work 
East Coast hours and I'm on the West Coast now. So I work from like 5.30 a.m. to usually around two. So I'm kind of done at, you know, two-ish every day and I have the whole rest of the day, which is really nice. I am exhausted though, because I'm not a morning person. So when I wake up, it feels like I'm dying. And then at two, I'm like ready for a nap. So I've been taking little cat naps, but it's been helping. Yes, today, it's Tuesday today, and I'm going to a little Pilates class in the area. It's so funny. It's, you know, a bunch of moms. Like it's definitely a different vibe than my studio at home, but it's still good. It's still a good workout. So when we're visiting, obviously we don't have a car here and my parents both work full time. So I picked this place because it's walking distance, which is nice. So I'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk, go to Pilates and then walk home. And I think tonight we're gonna go down into the canyon and there's a taco place or a Mexican food place. And whenever I'm in California, I, I need to get like my fix of good Mexican food because it just does not hit the same in DC. And so I'm going to, we're gonna do Taco Tuesday tonight. And then from there, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I think we have some fun plans throughout the week, some like more Christmassy plans, but it should be really fun. And then this weekend is Christmas Eve and Christmas. Uh, my family is very into Christmas Eve. We're definitely more of a Christmas Eve family than we are a Christmas, well, we're both, but like my family tends to host Christmas Eve. So we're hosting our big Christmas Eve party this, um, this year, which I'm really excited to be home for because I haven't been home for it in a while because it was COVID and then I was at Garrett's family's house last Christmas. So it's been a little bit since I've been here for Christmas Eve and I'm really excited. So let's get everything started. I'm wearing the cutest, coziest. This is like a big Sherpa jacket from Newly. It's pretty funky, um, but it's really warm and cozy and it's actually kind of cold here. It's in the 60s today. So um, it just feels like you're in a kind of a big blanket, which I love, so. Okay, just a little recap of flying with um, this little girl right here. So it was actually very successful and relatively as easy as you could. Oh God, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Sook's not in the mood to film, so that's fine. Um, but the flying with her actually went very well. It was as easy as it could have gone. We gave her some anxiety medicine before we left, so I think that helped, but she pretty much had to be in her carrier the whole flight. We were hoping we could get her on the seat in between us because we had the seat in between us open. But they really, we, we had her up there like under a blanket for a while, but like the flight attendant basically caught on and said like, hey, can you move her into her carrier? So I think we had her up there for an hour and a half, two hours or something like that. But most of the flight, she was in her carrier. Um, but we got the Sherpa carrier that unzips at the top so she could sit in it and like stick her head out and we could pet her and she could look at us and all that stuff. So I feel like she didn't feel very like trapped or enclosed, which was really good. And she would pop up every once in a while, but she basically slept a good amount of the flight. Sometimes she gets overheated. So we had like a little portable fan <laughs> for her. And I think that helped sometimes when she needed it. But overall it went really well and like as best as we could have hoped. So hopefully it's the same way flying home because that was really nice. And it's $125 each way, I believe. Like, I think I have, we have to pay that going back too, I'm pretty sure, kind of like checking in a bag. So it's definitely not, it's not like a no-brainer cheap, but for us, it, between, you know, coming to California for Christmas, having to pay someone or have family watch her, like, if family could watch her, great, but we don't have any family um, that would be in town during Christmas. And then if you're paying someone, you're paying, you know, I don't, you know, to board a dog, it's like pretty expensive, especially if we're gone for a few weeks, which we are. So it was a no brainer for us to fly with her and she did so well. I'm def we'll definitely do it again if we ever have to. Um, and I'm so happy to have her here over Christmas. Like it's so, it always feels weird if we're like at family's house without her. So I'm so happy she's here and it went really well. If there's any questions or anything, let me know. But I, I think it was a great experience and we just paid for the carrier and we, you know, had it under the seat, but it was just like at our feet. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna get going now, um, but it was a successful trip and hopefully it's the same on the way back. Okay, hello everyone. It's been a minute, but we've just been working and kind of not doing anything crazy. We went out to dinner at our favorite taco place last night, um, but tonight I am in charge of making dinner. So. Both my parents work full time and are out um, at their offices right now. So my goal is to have dinner nice and ready because 
I'm working uh, East Coast hours, I am done around two and they come home usually around six or seven. So I wanted to have dinner ready. And I'm gonna make the modern proper tortellini, kale tortellini soup. I learned this originally. Well, there's been variations of this recipe I've seen a lot like on Instagram and stuff, but this specific recipe, I got it from Kenzie Elizabeth. She makes it on her YouTube channel all the time and it's so easy and it's so good. Um, and I make it all the time in the fall and winter because it's really hearty. It tastes like, it's like more pasta than it is soup because it is tortellini. So it's very filling, like it's not like a light soup. So it has, you make, it's like a tomato based soup. You like put tortellini in it with Italian sausage and then some cream. So it's like a creamy tomato soup and then a bunch of kale. And it's really good. So I'm making that for dinner tonight. I'm going to prep as much of the ingredients as I can right now. And then I'll probably make it in a few hours, when, like assemble everything in a few hours when my parents come home. But this way everything will be chopped and easy so that when it's time to actually cook, it's, it's easy. Anyway, let's get, let's get cooking. I'm excited. Okay, so first thing is to chop an onion. So I actually have a bunch of veggies to chop. I actually add in, this is low, I add in um, zucchini and celery beyond what the recipe says just to kind of bulk it up and add more veggies to the dish. It just absorbs any flavor that the soup has and it adds more nutrients and also like makes it a bigger serving, which I'm all about like, I throw as much veggies into what I'm eating as possible to like bulk up what I'm eating and have a lot of volume. So that being said, the recipe I think just has an onion and kale and I double the kale, I add celery and I add zucchini. So let's start chopping. Yeah, when I when I make recipes that revol involve a good amount of chopping, I just try to chop absolutely everything before, so that when it comes to like assembling and cooking, like like crunch time, you just throw things in and you're not worried about chopping because I'm not the fastest chopper in the world. So this just allows me to you know have everything ready to go when it's time. Okay, next we're gonna do zucchini. This is. Pretty much one of my favorite vegetables to like add to anything because it's a really temperate, like kind of moderate taste, but absorbs whatever you're cooking with. So it's really good. So I'm just gonna chop this up quickly. Okay, next is six cloves of garlic. Um, so measure with your heart, I'll, I don't know, depending on how big these are. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna chop is this kale. My favorite kind of kale is this kind of dino kale. I think it's a lot easier to eat and it wilts kind of better. And I just like the flavor of it best. So you can do any kind of kale that you prefer. But the key is to make sure you take off this like kind of coarse stem because this is really unpleasant to eat. So I usually just will kind of start trimming around the stem until you get the stem loose like this. And this will wilt into close to nothing in the soup. So it feels like a lot, but it really wilts down. Okay, 
Okay, so I got the recipe it calls for sweet Italian sausage, but I always get hot Italian sausage. It's it just adds a spiciness to the dish. I think it's so much better. Um, I've always made it with the hot, and I think it's so much better. Okay, so here are all the ingredients all prepped and ready to go. So when um, the time is ready, I'll start by sauteing the onion, celery, garlic all together. Get that nice and combined. Then I'll usually add the zucchini after that. Then I'll start sauteing the hot sausage. It's all broken up and ready to go. And once that's all kind of cooked and together, you drain all the fat and then you pour in, I use bone broth instead of normal chicken broth. It's just higher in protein and I think it has a lot more nutrients for you. You can't taste the difference. Um, so I always do bone broth. And then, um, so I'll put this in and then you add crushed tomatoes and some tomato paste. Wait for that to combine and then at the very end you add your tortellinis and then, oh, heavy cream, but I think that's in the fridge right now. So anyway, and then you just top with some Parmesan cheese. So we're ready to go and I'll film it once I start cooking in about an hour. Um, we're going to go to a workout class with my mom this morning. This is the one she does um, a lot. It's called Row House, and it's the erg machine. And then there are like some floor weights and stuff, but not much. It's mostly a workout on the rowing machine. So not my favorite type of workout, but it is fun to go with my mom. So <laughs> it's first thing in the morning. Well, I've been up for a few hours because I'm working East Coast times, but... Um, I'm just going to take a little break, a lunch break for me, a morning break for everyone else, and we're going to go work out and then come back home and work a full day. So it should be good. It's coffee in the background. All right, let's do it. All right, Garrett. Garrett's going in trying to beat my dad's split. Do you think you can do it? Feeling pretty good. Having some coffee and no water. <laughs> so I think that's a recipe for success. <laughs> yeah. I haven't eaten anything either. That's not usually. Yeah, no food, no water. Dehydrated from tennis last night. <laughs> My dad beat Garrett in tennis last night. So, and that he mentioned his score to Garrett at the row place, and that he beat Garrett. My dad's a competitive freak. So, <laughs> Garrett's gonna try to beat my dad's score. We'll see if we can do it. All right. We were about ready to take off. So today is a holiday thing, Ro. All right, update. Disappointing. <laughs> he couldn't do it. I tied. Tied him. 136 split, if yeah. anyone knows what that means, but could not. So close. So close, but so far. Mom, what was your best split? I don't ever pay attention. <laughs> I know. We're like going like this and you're just like, <laughs> Let's just do my thing. I'm moving my body in my 50s. That is great. That's all I'm happy about. Correct. That was good. My best split, I don't know exactly, but I was in the 150s. Nice. That's good. It was really hard, though, to be there. I didn't stay long. But yeah. Okay, now we're getting Starbucks. And then back to work. Anyway, my mom wants to do the pay it forward thing at Starbucks to start it. But only <laughs> depending on how much it, okay. it is. So let's see. Hi, how are you? Yes. And then I wanted to ask the car behind me, what is their total? 
I'm gonna pay for theirs. And then the no thanks. Okay. And then the car behind them. How much is that one? Okay. We have to do good in the world. That's what we're doing. So the order after this is going to be 5 dollars I got his too. The guy back two cars is wearing a Santa hat and looks festive. So we and wanted you tell to pay the guy, for his. Will you tell the guy in the Santa hat we liked it because he was wearing a Santa hat? Okay. Have a great day. Okay. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Good deed. Check. Those Check. very modest orders. Yes. Very, very good. All right. We made their day. I thought you were going to say, tell the guy in the Santa hat it was from me. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. No, I know. I thought that's what you were going to no, say. No, he earned it because it was so cute. Yeah. That's All right. Well, color. now our drinks taste better because of the good deed. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they'll keep it going. No, they'll be surprised. I've never had that happen to me. I haven't either. That's why I want to... We got we to gotta do it. Oh, God. I dude. feel like... Oh, my God. Yeah. Gosh. That was crazy. Like this is a squishy area. Okay, now back to work. Um, we finished. We just finished work. I took a little nap, which felt fantastic. And now we're gonna go to happy hour with some of my mom's friends um, and some of their kids, I believe. So I'm not sure where we're going. Like we have no details yet on the plan. So we're kind of just dressed for anything. So I just have this basic um, brown top, and then I'm layering it with this like leather it's kind of like a dark green leather vest and it goes it goes like pretty long and then i just have abercrombie jeans so that's the outfit and just did my normal makeup i'm ready to go maybe i'll have a drink here do you want a corona light or something i guess we only have 15 minutes yeah that sounds great maybe we'll split one yeah Okay, we'll we wait for my mom to be ready, but let's go. <clears throat> okay, we're in our backyard. It's so pretty out. Of course, my dad has a golf net set up for practicing golf at any time of the day, just in case. Just in case anyone wants to golf. He's always prepared. And my mom's drink of choice is a Corona Light. So that's what I'm drinking. I'm going to let Suki run out here a little bit and just wait to hear... Hear the plan, considering we don't know what the plan is. so good. Did you dice Oh, my hair? Wrap? Yeah, I did. Nice. I used the Dyson Air Wrap, Love and it. I did the round brush. I'm, I try to get, my hair's pretty flat, so I, I feel like it gives it a little bit of volume, just a little bit more than it naturally would. So, yes, that's how I blow dry my hair today. Merry Christmas, I mean, I Eve, 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 Eve. Are you ready for... Scotland or Ireland? Is it both? Garrett just booked a golf trip to Ireland, so he's practicing. Four coming up over the next yeah, it's good. You're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to get consistent before you go, so it's not a waste. I'm about to go five months without playing. So. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, hi, Lewis. Suki, look at me. I got a Hudson's cookie. Let's see how it looks. All right, good cookie inside. Mm. That hits. Wow. All right, everyone, we made the dumb decision to come to the mall on the 23rd and we're attempting to get we have a 50 dollar gift we need to get for a gift exchange and we are struggling major so we're just circling target trying to get inspired we don't really have any ideas um i might just get a nice bottle of alcohol i don't know but not everyone drinks i don't know it's difficult but we're just wandering we may get inspired we may not i mean that speaker looks cool or headphones Uninspired. He's so stressed. So stressed. Um, I kind of like the white. They look it looks nicer. More premium. Looks kind of like trendy. 
Like I would use them if I got those, I guess. Even though I actually I probably wouldn't because yeah, I hate know. those types of headphones. But I would return it and just get money. I don't know. It's a struggle. I'm gonna go look in the home section. What course are you guys playing tomorrow? Arrowwood. Ooh, Arrowwood. Sounds legit. Sounds fancy. Alright, we're here happy houring. We got back, we had a successful shopping day. We found two gifts above the $50 minimum. I'm really proud of one gift. It was hard. Uh, Dad. Hey, hey. I, I major got panic. Gift, I'm, not, I'm not telling until tomorrow. Yeah, no, don't. I'm not saying what we got either, but I'm happy with both our gifts. Like, I'm not embarrassed of them because I was getting nervous. <laughs> and it's not a candle or a blanket. That was the rules. Garrett's wearing a nice sweater. Isn't it cute? Yeah, it's great. I think it's from, from Target. Yeah, it's from Target. It's the, a good fellow brand. Yeah, which has like, they actually have great men's clothing, I think. Yeah, I think these pants are. Yeah, your jeans. I think, I think it's time to tie. Look there. at your shoes. Hmm? Garrett never ties his shoes. It's like a personality trait. Look how, look how bad they are. Nice. So tonight we're going to a Christmas play. No one knows what it is, including my mom who booked it. I heard it's a school play. <laughs> no. It's the local fifth grade class. Oh, <laughs> oh no. We're going down, oh my god, to Robinson. Actually, I would I would thoroughly enjoy that if that was the case. Party on. Party on. Almost had us like completely messed up. <laughs> we had to run, sprint to this stoop, this play, whatever it is. We don't we even know it. what it is, but we, we made, made it. it. The winter of Oz. We were here. We all ordered Cobb salads because it was the fastest thing and we shoveled them down. But we're here now. So we'll see. We'll see how it is. <laughs> I'm dying to know, like, is this like wicked? Like, are there kids in the crowd? I don't really know. <laughs> this is um, what Garrett married into. Me and my family maybe do this too. Yeah. I saw Wicked on Broadway. Well, Wicked's actually good. This is not Wicked. This is something very different. But you know. Yeah, but I think it'd be indifferent regardless. Wicked in Laguna or Wicked. Well, if this is Wicked in Laguna, I would also be stoked. But this is the wonderful winter of Oz. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll let you know. Good morning, everyone. It's Christmas Eve. My favorite day of the whole year. I'm in such a great mood today. I'm just so excited. I love Christmas Eve. My mom and I have spent most of the morning getting the house ready because we're having a party tonight. So just cleaning, like wrapping presents. We're doing a big gift exchange like I talked about. And I made fudge this morning. I should have vlogged that, but I did it like first thing in the morning because we want to make sure it has time to set up. So that was fun. And we've just been listening to Christmas music and just the vibes are good. I've been sent on a mission to run a bunch of errands for my mom. She gave me a list. 
checking it twice. <laughs> anyway, she gave me a list of things and then I'm also going to a Pilates class just because we've been eating crazy. We, I haven't, I, I guess I have been working out, but I just wanted to do something to move my body in the morning to feel good because it's going to be a long day of eating and drinking and all that stuff. So I figured it was, it was worth it to get a class in. So I have a class at 1015. It's 945 right now. Anyway, it's, um, a sunny like warm day in California it doesn't really feel like Christmas but you got to turn that around and just mentally change your mind I'm wearing the cute I got this new Lulu it's like a ribbed like a cloud bra from Lulu um, that I'm wearing to Pilates it's so comfortable I love it because it has the smallest bit of padding but they're not the cups that slide around everywhere because I always end up just taking those out because they get messed up in the wash and Whatever, but this is just sewn in like a little padding, so it's really comfortable, but it's like never gonna like go crazy. So I really like it. But anyway, I'm gonna go into CVS, see if I can find these candles, and then we'll go to Pilates. These candles are important because we have this centerpiece that it's from my grandma. I don't know if she, where she got it. It's like a Swedish thing, I think. But it's this wooden centerpiece where they have a bunch of like little characters that go around in a circle and it's propelled by candle heat. So you have candles all around the circle and the heat of the candle pushes the fan so the people are like going in a circle. It's hard to explain, I'll probably show it on the vlog later when we're setting it for Christmas, but it's iconic for our family. We have it every year, it's like my favorite Christmas decoration and you need those tall skinny candles to make that work. <laughs> so. I have to find them. I just, I'm just not sure exactly where I'm going to find them. I think maybe I'll go to Target next. The rest of this stuff is kind of grocery store. Ice bags, wine, fruit, orange juice, salt and pepper shakers. So those are all kind of grocery things. So maybe I'll try a grocery store first, but I don't know. I'm not sure exactly where I'd find it. Um, but last night, oh my God. <laughs> Let me just say it was a night I'll never forget that play. Oh my god. It was so bad. It was so bad, but I'll just leave it at that. Oh my god. It was so funny though. I had a laugh attack, like literally crying. Tears streaming down my face multiple times throughout the place. So you can infer how, how it went, but anyway, that was really funny last night. And then, yeah. It was supposed to like get us in the Christmas spirit, but like the play had nothing to do with Christmas. Like they swindled us. It was a children's play. Major success. So I think I got everything on the list, with the exception of my mom wrote fruit and I just picked random fruit and then I looked at the list again and it said specifically blueberries, bananas, strawberries. And I'm not sure what that's for. And I got blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. So. I could be sent back, but I'm going to try it and go home because I've got ice in the back. I've got four bags of ice. So I got that. I got the tall taper candles. Those were a hard find. They were the last ones in Target. So that was a major score. And then I had to reward myself at the end with the Starbucks. Pilates was actually really good today. It was a jump board class, which is always my favorite. They're just kind of fun. Like to me, they always feel like a little bit like you're like playing and goofing around, like just jumping and on these springs. And it was a good workout too. It was like kind of my legs were burning at the end. So Merry Christmas. Woo!
Peace. <laughs>